Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is the unboxing for February Snacku. Yes, um, I'm sure you knew that from the title, but bears reiterating just for fun. Yeah, this is a February Snacku. Uh, if anyone's been watching this long enough, you know that I was doing uh, these unboxings for Snacku at this time last year, and I was only doing the tasting size boxes, which are way smaller. It's just like a few items. Um, and actually comes from New York versus this one, which is much more items uh, and more of the items, and it comes directly from Japan. So the one last year in February was themed around Valentine's Day because I guess it is celebrated out there in Japan. And one of the things they talk about is the fact that men get candy and food items from women typically in Japan. So I found that interesting. I don't know if that will be stated in the card on here or not. But another thing is there's a huge uh, focus on strawberry things, which is really cool because I really dig strawberries. So this could be a really good box, but we'll see. Open it up. Here is the artwork. And I'll just scroll through the items if you want to pause and read each one. There you go. Okay, I'll, and then I'll show you what's in here. And then I'll read this real quick. Look, look at all the goodies. Look at that. Looks good. Tons of stuff in there. All right, so happy Valentine's Day. Did you know that during this holiday in Japan, women must give chocolates to all the men they admire? There it is. There are two types of chocolates women give to men, Giri Choco and Honmai Choco. Giri Choco, girl mean, oh, I'm sorry, Giri means obligation. Are chocolates a woman gives to her friends, colleagues, bosses, and close male friends? Hanmai choco is given to her boyfriend or husband. Japanese women often prepare hanmai choco by, them, by themselves, as many believe store-bought chocolates do not adequately exp express their true love. I'm assuming they could buy the giri choco, no problem. Chocolate isn't the only food that's popular in February. It's also strawberry season in Japan, so we've included a bunch of strawberry snacks too. Awesome. Totally down. So the first item I'm going to do, uh, this was in, I, th I think it was the exact same uh, February box last time, but uh, like I said, I was doing the tasting box. Um, so I'll do it again since it's been a year, but typically if it was like just a few months ago, I wouldn't eat it right now. So this is the doo -doo -doo, chocolate arar or arare uh, from a rice cracker store in Kyoto comes a snack 10 years in the making. These chocolate-covered mini rice crackers have even been featured on TV in Japan. They come in two pouches, bitter and sweet. The bitter pouch includes matcha, green tea, dark chocolate, and white chocolate-covered crackers. The sweet pouch contains strawberry, milk chocolate, and white chocolate-covered crackers. Well, let me figure out which one. I don't want... So this is the one with the matcha in it. I'm not big on matcha, so I'm going to do the sweet one, which has the strawberry in there. Plus, you know, it's about the strawberry. So here's one I assume this is a white chocolate. It smells like white chocolate. Which like white chocolate to me has like a waxy consistency, but also has a little bit of like a waxy smell, which is weird. So what I like about this is you get like a chocolate flavor, but you also get like a really nice crunch. If you've been watching this long enough, you know that I am big on crunch. I like texture with my snacks and crunchy things I like a lot. This is why I like Senbai. So these little rice crackers, these little Senbai covered in chocolate, pretty awesome. So this is a strawberry one, which I assume is actually white chocolate with strawberry added to it. Yeah, I mean, it tastes like white chocolate and then the strawberry comes in after. But the thing that's really nice is that the rice cracker in there is giving a little bit of a saltiness a little bit of like a soy sauce note, which complements the sweet really well. I really like sweet and savory together, so it's really nice. And then there's just a straight chocolate one in there, which, you know, we know what that's going to taste like. So really good. I like those. Got my water over there. Sorry, every time I pick up my water and set it down, I think it shakes the camera a little bit. So I do apologize for that. All right, next, let's do this one. This is... Oh, a senbai. Okay, I just kind of randomly picked it. A limited series, it's heart senbai, a limited series rice cracker in the shape of a heart to share with your loved ones. Oh, 
That's so sweet. Oh yeah, I should use packaging. There you go. I mean, it looks kind of like generic-ish packaging. It doesn't really have anything written on it. So, oh my, it is hard send by. As you can see, it's not super thick. I mean, sometimes send by done like this just kind of looks like a rice cracker. Ew, it's a little fishy. It smells fishy. It tastes a little bit fishy. But the good thing though is the fishiness is up front and it kind of goes away real quick because you get a lot of saltiness to it. Mm. As you can hear, it has a lot of crunch, which I enjoy. I'll finish the rest of that later. I like it. I do. Get this fishiness off here. It kind of, I don't know, it reminds me a little bit of like shrimp crackers. Have you ever had like shrimp, shrimp crackers or also like shrimp toast? Kind of reminds me of that, especially with the crunch. Because it tastes like, it's not like fishy like fish fish. It's like fishy like shrimp. It's decent. It's not my favorite, but it's all right. Okay, next. Once again, I'm just randomly grabbing these. What is this one? Okay, I think this is... Is this the brownie? Yeah, I think so. So I believe this is a strawberry brownie. Yes, chocolate brownie. Yeah. Wait a minute. Chocolate brownie. They both say chocolate brownie, but it's supposed to be strawberry brownie. I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe it says that on there. And I just can't read it. Yeah. Strawberry brownie from Fubion comes a brand new snack. A delicious walnut brownie with bits of freeze-dried strawberries. Huh. Since these sell out quick, we had to work with Fubion for over six months to make sure we could get them for you. Wow. So kind of like, I guess you can't say like exclusive, but it makes you feel that way. So kind of rare. That's cool, man. And it just, it kind of like shows the work that's being put in here um, by um, Shigeki at uh, Snacku. Man, this is really, it looks really good. It's really soft. I mean, it's a brownie, you can see. I don't know if you can, like, I can, let me see if I can sit down and pull this up. Because you can kind of see, can you see right there, like, the difference in color? Like, you can see where the strawberry portion is. See what I mean? It smells like chocolate with a faint fruitiness. I don't know if I'd be able to pick out a strawberry on the smell. It's really soft. That's really soft. So the chocolate, which I appreciate, is not crazy sweet. It's very, very cakey. It's very moist, light. Tastes like like chocolate, but it's not like super sugary. You can tell that it's kind of like sugar reduced. Although maybe it's not sugar reduced, and it's just that the strawberry, when it kicks in there, is kind of lessening your perception of the sugar. Mmm, that's really good. I like it. Mm. Yeah, you can definitely taste the strawberry. The strawberry is not super aggressive though. It's kind of just like a light note that comes in at the end of each of each bite. I like it. That's yeah. That's a good one. Mm. Definitely have to cleanse my palate after that chocolate. You know. All right, what's this one? Actually, I might not do that one because I'm not. I'm not going to be sure what it is. Okay, so here's one. This is the mentai umaibo, one of Japan's favorite puff corn snacks. This one tastes like spicy cod roe called mentaiko. Okay, so this one, this one could be rough. <laughs> I hope not, but this one could be rough. And sorry if you hear my HVAC system in the background running. It should be kind of like low because I changed the setting when I do these videos. Okay, this is very funky looking. It looks like the fattest, well, it's got a hole in the middle. It looks like the fattest Cheeto I've ever seen. It's like a Cheeto cigar. It doesn't smell fishy. It just smells, 
a little spicy, like kind of cayenne pepper, and then salty. Paprika, actually. There's a lot of paprika flavor in there. Yeah. It's kind of like, I don't know, like it definitely, it's like a corn snack, so it definitely tastes like corn. It's just like a corn Cheeto with a lot of paprika flavor. It's not fishy. I don't I don't understand the cod row. There's like a little bit of like a cayenne pepper flavor after all the paprika. But there's a lot of paprika in that, to be honest. Which, I don't really like this all that much because I'm not big on paprika. If you really like the spiced paprika, then that's for you. You would love that. If you don't, honestly, if you don't think about the flavor too much, you could kind of view it as like a very toned down version of like a barbecue. Because sometimes pepper is used for that. Alright. Cleanse my mouth on that one. Okay. Next. Do this one. I think this is the strawberry Carrara. But I'm going to have to take it out of the package before I know for sure. So there's the package. Sorry if I'm sniffling like... The weather's been changing a lot, and it just makes me, like, makes my sinuses go nuts. So I get a lot of head leakage. Yeah, sounds great. Right? Okay, yeah, so this is a strawberry Carrara. Oh man, it's broken a little bit. That's fine. Alright, bound to happen. Strawberry Carrara. You can see where it broke there, but... So the, it is delicate butter cookie sandwich from a famous shop called Fubion, uh, where the other one's from, in Kyushu, is southern island of Japan. The cookies are filled with a luxurious mix of cocoa whipped cream and freeze dried strawberries. Damn, it smells. Uh, that sounds really good. It smells like so much strawberry. It smells buttery, sugary buttery strawberries. Is what it smells like. Okay, so the freeze-dried strawberries add a little bit of a crunch, but it's almost a little bit of like a styrofoam type crunch to it, so it's a little weird for me. I'm the type of person who doesn't really like like the marshmallows and Lucky Charms, like that texture when I chew it is kind of like nails on a chalkboard. This is more toned down than that, but there's a little bit of that there. A lot of strawberry in the flavor. Mm. Mm -hmm. It tastes good. I mean, it's, it is very buttery, creamy, sugary, and tons of strawberry. Tons and tons of strawberry because of those freeze-dried strawberries in there. This is a winner. This is a good one, and I like it uh, specifically because it's not common. This is not something I'm, well, maybe not something I'll ever have again, so it's cool to have. I like that. Mm. All right, next. Someone's dog is yelling. Let me save that because I don't know what that is. Let me go with this. What is this? Six pieces of rando thing. Okay, Kanako mochi cake. This will be a first for this. Mini Japanese mochi pound cake. Covered in a savory yet sweet roasted Kanako soy powder. A taste of rural Japan in every bite. Interesting. So, don't really know anything about this so much. It, yeah, I mean, it does look like a pound cake on there. If you can see. Whoop. Six pieces. This is large. Hopefully, I like it because then it won't sit around for too long. Oh, they're like these little... Like super little baby pieces. Okay, that's totally manageable. Let me get this out of here without destroying the whole packaging. Okay, so it's, yeah, so it's like this little pound cake. This is a little baby pound cake. There you go. It's it smells almond. 
like vegetables and almond kind of mixed. That must be that soy. Yeah, the soy powder. This is weird. I don't know. Kind of weird. Consistency's good. It tastes a little prefab, you know, like kind of chemically. So I'm not a big fan of that. I see where the soy's coming into play. But I don't feel like it really fits so much. There's a little bit of like a molasses flavor to it too. I don't know. It's kind of chemically though. I don't really like that. Hmm. Yeah, definitely get the soy more. And for me, sometimes, like, soy starts to taste a tad bit corn-like at times, and that's kind of doing that. Mm. I don't like that one. I don't think my wife's going to like it either, unfortunately. Okay, let's go to this. This is something that we've had before in a box. Uh, we had a different type, so I'll do this, but I'm excited because I did like it before. This is uh, Emo Kempi. Like potato sticks, basically. Oh, you might want to see all of that. Yeah, so Emo can be uh, a traditional brown sugar glazed baked sweet potato snack from Japan. Goes perfect with a nice cup of green tea. Of course, I don't have any green tea. I have like flavored green teas, but you know, like straight green tea. Okay, so brown sugar sweet potato. I'm not, I'm also, sorry. I'm also not big on sweet potatoes, but sometimes. Oh, look at, they look like real shiny, like makes you think they're going to be greasy. I mean, they've definitely been fried, you can tell that. They smell super fried. They're like really hard. Okay, so they're like crunchy, but they're like soggy crunchy. You know what I mean? Like if something's been fried a lot and then it just sits and cools down you know what i mean like it's kind of crunchy but it's not it's kind of soggy at the same time weird definitely got a lot of brown sugar which for people who like sweet potatoes i think you'd really like this because brown sugar goes really well with sweet potatoes i know a lot of people feel that way i think my wife is gonna love these uh, there's a little bit of saltiness to it that comes in in the end that kind of increases its flavor for me. It's something I actually kind of like in there. So it's I'm not huge on it just because I don't really like sweet potatoes. But if you are into sweet potatoes, I think you really would like this. And the fact that I'm not into sweet potatoes and I kind of like it, it's pretty good. So, all right. The brown sugar is nice. And that saltiness at the end. Okay. Should have, a, I think, three more items left? I always save the hard candy stuff at the end. Okay, this one could be a real me mess. Let's give this a shot. Strawberry, or um, caramel strawberry balm. D-A-U-M. Not familiar with that, but there you go. So it's like a, kind of looks like another, like, pound cakey type thing. Bomkuchen are layered roll cakes which originated in Germany but became extremely, extremely popular in Japan after it was introduced to Japan in 1919 during a confectionery trade show. That's interesting. These particular bomkuchen are seasonal to this time of year and made with local Japanese strawberries from Kyushu. Once again, the strawberry theme, I'm, I'm in. I'm, I'm so down with that. And they always have, like, these packets, these, like, silica packets to keep moisture down and to keep, well, to keep it from sweating, but also to keep it moist. So, as you can see, it's just like a, I mean, it's a ring. You can see, you can see the layers in there. It talks about, like, many layers. You can see all the layers. I'm oh, sorry, I, like, overexposed it. You can see the layers, which I think is cool. You can just pull it out like this. More brown on that side. Oh, it smells like so much strawberry. It just smells like a really nice strawberry cake, and it feels really soft. Yeah. Mmm. Yep. Yeah. 
It's just like a nice, it's, I was going to say light, but it's actually a little more dense than that. It's kind of like a medium density cake. So it's like a medium dense, sweet strawberry cake. Mm. That's really good. I like it. And I think my wife's going to like it too. Thankfully, we have two of them. So she can eat the other half of that. I didn't quite eat half at the moment, so I'll finish my half off video. And then she can have the other half, and then we'll probably just split the other one too. Nice, I like it. Okay, so moving on. Then this must mean that these are the Tokyo Rusk pieces. And this kind of sucks because it's only two of them, and they look really small. I'm sorry. Why are the water in for some reason? Sinuses. Blame it all on sinuses. Okay, so Tokyo Rusk piece. I really like Rusk. I was introduced to it through this box. And they've had a few Rusks in there. I think this is the third. This will be like the third Rusk I've had from them. And I like the other two quite a bit. So it's kind of sad that like they're really small pieces. There's a strawberry and a chocolate, as you can see. Um, I guess I'll just eat this chocolate now because... My wife can have, mm, no, I'll save the chocolate because that's more of like a generic-ish type thing. And I'll try the strawberry be for the video because that'll make more sense. Hopefully I can, no, I'm not going to be able to save half. Sorry, Rebecca, in advance. <laughs> so it basically just looks like a crouton. It's like a pink, pinkish, brownish crouton. That's what it looks like. It smells sweet. Sugary strawberry. So it smells like. Okay. I didn't read what it was. <laughs> I'm gonna do that right now. But before I do, it is very kind of like buttery. Tastes like it has white chocolate. So it's like dipped in white chocolate with strawberry in there. And it's got a decent crunch to it. So the Tokyo Rusk piece, uh, bite-sized double-baked baguettes soaked in chocolate or strawberry cream. It's super light, fluffy, and crunchy all at the same time. Yeah, I agree with that. It's good. Makes me really excited for the chocolate one. Although, actually, since I ate the strawberry one, I guess my wife should get the chocolate one. Nah, we'll see about that. Maybe, maybe. Okay. And then the last item, which is, so there's always like a hard candy or like soft hard candy thing in there. So this time around, it's strawberry milk candy. So this is another thing that's been in the in the uh, box before, uh, milk candies. I think two other times as well, just like the Rusk. And that's when I was first introduced to them. And I was like, at first I was like, that sounds kind of weird. But I actually like them. They, they come off a little caramel-like. Okay, as you can see, there's some strawberry, and there's some just straight-up milk flavored. So it says, a colorful combination of strawberry and creamy milk candy from a candy shop in Kyoto. Not a whole lot of description to that. That's what it is. All right, so I'll do one of the strawberry ones, obviously, because that's the theme we're sticking with. So it just kind of looks like a hard candy, very shiny, very pink, because of the strawberry. It smells... Like sweet strawberry. So, with the milk candies, the, the straight up milk ones are very like creamy and very milky and a little bit caramelly. This one, because of the strawberry, actually has a slightly tart zing up front from the strawberry flavor, which I enjoy. The candy's very hard too. Some of these milk candies are sometimes like a little bit soft, so you can chew them. They're almost like a taffy. Uh, this one is not. Yeah, this one's not. I just try to apply pressure with my teeth. Mm. It is good, though. Mm. Okay, I like that. I'm going to set it aside so I'm not just, you know, sucking on that candy while I'm trying to do a video because it's a little rude. Okay. So, to recap, what did I really like out of this? Uh, the chocolate RRA, those little um, rice crackers covered in chocolate, those are really nice. I like those as a nice snack. The strawberry Carrara, well, these were the chocolate RRA. 
the strawberry arara or arare which was like that you know the the butter cookies strawberry butter cookies with like the cream strawberry cream filling those were really nice that strawberry brownie these things uh yeah those were really good really 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 good i also like the caramel strawberry balm that one that one was tasty too um and honestly i think that's that that's it for like my highlights with it I think all the things on the side that are not part of like the real theme, but are like extras, all of those things were okay, but I wasn't huge on them. I, I could have been much happier if all those things were left out and they would just put more of the main things in. But I do really think it's cool that the, with the strawberry brownie, Shigeki was actually able to work with the maker, Fubion to get them to secure some for these boxes up front because they are so popular. I think that's really awesome. So, okay, uh, overall, a good box. Not my favorite box. I think the box last month was my favorite box still. I think that's what I said last month. People can go back and check me. Anyway, um, I do appreciate whoever's watching this watching this. Uh, that's awesome. If you want to see me maybe do some more unboxings, maybe food, maybe something else, you can let me know. Uh, but one thing I'll need from you in order to do that is hit that subscribe, let other people know, get them to hit the subscribe. So as my viewership goes up, uh, maybe I can get to a point where I can get a little bit of revenue. And then if I get that, I'll just put it back into unboxing stuff. Because I like doing this. I like being able to put it out there so that people can see, you know, would I be interested in getting this or not without having to make that commitment first. These are things I want to get anyway, the BAM boxes, the snacku. So I figure it just makes sense to put the videos out there so that people can kind of make up their own mind. Do they want to buy it or not without having to commit first? So that said, I can do more unboxings in the future, but I'm going to need more subscribers and I'm going to need that revenue that comes from subscribers eventually. But I have a long way to go, so whatever. If you're fine with the videos that are just coming out, that's okay too. But anyway, like is encouraging. Thank you for that. Uh, please, with the subscribe and some comments down there, if you want to comment on, hey, this looked really good to me, or I've had something like whatever is in the box, we can talk about that. Totally cool. And other nerdy things. It doesn't have to be about this video. You can just post something on it and we can chat about something else. Anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.